A typical spring for Vermont. Snow on the ground and a chill in the air. For the high school sports season, many teams have come and gone. It's been months since the football field saw its last touchdown. Second and goal from the 10, motion to the backfield, handoff straight ahead, and bursting free is Nate Parody, and Nate Parody is in for a BFA touchdown. The basketball bleachers no longer filled with cheering fans. And champions crowned for Vermont's finest in hockey. Division one hockey champions, the BFA Cowboys. But for one sport, there was a delay in the season. Always cold. We're inside most maybe two, three weeks. First begins first part of the season. Being inside without the grass and sunlight. It's just hard to start a season indoors for a sport that's played outdoors. The winter weather refuses to quit for the northwestern region of Vermont, which means trading in fly balls and sunny skies for low ceilings and gym sprints. We obviously can't take fly balls in here, so we'll, we'll do a drill where we simulate fly balls, but I'm only throwing as high as the ceiling, and even then it's difficult because every couple you, you hit the, the light or the, or the ceiling by accident and kind of it disrupts the drill. Totally different catching a fly ball, especially in here, not only because of the height, but also there's you don't have the sky behind the ball, and um, it's also tough to pick up, you know, judge the ball how quickly it's coming at you at what angle. For the baseball teams at Bellows Free Academy and Missisquoi Valley Union, it's either practice inside or not at all. We start just running inside, going around the theater, around the inside of the school and it's not the same as outside, so it's difficult. We only got an hour in here almost every day, so it can be tough trying to get stuff done. Teams have to make do with the surroundings they have, taking a field of dreams approach to building it themselves, no matter how small. We've got a, a decent space where we can uh, extend some of our throws. Um, in some gyms you're not allowed to really do much because you don't want balls hitting bleachers. And Our cage isn't 60 feet long, so I would love to be able to have one of my indoor mounds put in the cage and have a pitcher pitch live, but we just can't do that and keep it safe. So, um, you know, pit batters don't see any live pitching until we get outside either. We get a lot of reps in the cage, which really helps. And we just got, when we get out there, we got to make sure we're ready to go be able to do whatever we can in here. Just the cage right there, that's a major plus for everyone. And everyone's bat speed's getting up, everyone's form's getting better. You really have to change up practice, um, keep it short. It doesn't take very long for the guys to, to kind of get uh, bored with it. I try to design drills and, and, um, and that I can see certain skills and certain mechanics that players might have and you can recognize places where they might be weak um, or strong. It might seem like a hassle to start the season, but there is an upside to practicing indoors. From a coaching perspective, I actually kind of like it for the first couple of weeks because we can do things and break down skills that we wouldn't, we would probably just jump over if we went right outside. In here, I can reteach guys how to field properly. And it just forces you to rethink about, you know, your mechanics, am I looking at the ball, am I fielding, you know, going forward, you know, in the center of my body or whatever it is. On the rink, we get, we're closer, we get to communicate more easily, and we become more of a team than we can on the field, being hundreds of feet apart. It's not easy starting in a gym, especially in a gym, a round gym, not a lot of round gyms in here, so I mean, you know, smaller, but we make the most of it and can't wait to get outside and start the season up. Even after the teams finally step outside, it doesn't mean Mother Nature is ready to play ball. In my tenure here, we've played games where it starts snowing. So um, you, you just got to deal with it. You got to dress for the, for the weather and know that both teams are, are going through it. Um, there's years where we have lots of uh, rain outs. We try to go out in the parking lot maybe or, or the soccer field and take some fly balls the days, days we can, but that's few and far between. We had a few years ago, we had a, a pretty bad snowstorm. Um, so we, we had been outside for a while, then we had to come back in for like 10 days. So it's hard. what's hard when you come back in like that is playing a lot of long toss and keeping their arm strength up. 
But when we're inside, we, we have to get our bullpens done and we can take BP and keep our timing down. Um, and you just gotta, you gotta have the, a positive attitude and be able to work through it. It's just, it's just adversity. And um, you can't complain about it because it's the way it is for everybody. So you just gotta, when, when you're, the game's ready to be played, you gotta be ready to go. That's where these coaches have to rely on players who have been in this situation before. The older guys uh, are really helpful showing the younger guys where the equipment is, kind of the, my routines, like I'll bring it out from the closet and then they kind of bring it out into the, into the, uh, the actual gym. We have indoor mounds that need to be set up. Um, and so they take the lead, we're showing the guys, you know, how, how to carry them over because they are heavy. We need to put mats underneath. So that so that's sort of nuts and bolts information is they're definitely very helpful with. Our seniors um, bring a, a great attitude and passion for baseball. They really love uh, baseball. I call them uh, baseball rats. You might hear like the term gym rats or, or rink rats. These guys, uh, they'll play baseball anywhere. We just gotta stay positive. Team bonding is a big part of it. They'll play a lot of different games like flips and they wanna be around the guys and they really <clears throat> lead our team well and show the younger players the, the right way of doing things, and, and that's our, our expectation. Through the constrictive nets of batting practice to homemade drills from leftover custodial equipment, it's apparent that these players love the game, whether it's inside or out. You definitely got to love baseball playing in Vermont because you're in all conditions. You can be in rain, s snow like last year against Rice. You definitely got to love all, all uh, weather conditions because it's a big part of the game up in Vermont. It's not like down south where you just, you have that perfect weather almost all the time and you can be out all year round. Absolutely make the best of it and you know, make the best of your time because you don't have all year, it's just one season and you want to get out there and show what you have and do your best and not just for yourself but for your team and like represent your school in a good way. We've been very fortunate that our culture in the, in the baseball program uh, has been very good. A lot of these guys uh, have played with each other for 14 years, you know, through Little League, Babe Ruth, they play summer ball together, so they know each other pretty well. It's such a small community, a tight-knit community, that uh, most of the time they're all friends and uh, uh, support each other and get along and create the appropriate culture. The players have the coaches to thank for all that upbeat attitude. The thing is when you can have a positive attitude from our coach and positive like atmosphere from him, it makes everyone else's mood shoot up. It does get warmer and the weather does get better and um, our season maybe is short but there's summer opportunities to play baseball. You know there, there are uh, teams and, and areas and places where baseball is vibrant in Vermont and um, th there's definitely opportunity for guys to play longer than just this time of year for the school. Baseball in Vermont is, is a, a wonderful sport uh, and has a, has a long history with many great players. Uh, and I think the weather actually makes it, uh, makes it pretty unique uh, to be able to say that you play baseball in Vermont. That's not to say, however, that everyone won't be excited once the warmer weather sticks around. It's literally a breath of fresh air, you know. Hopefully it's a a nice spring for everybody, um, but I've been doing this long enough to know that you you make schedules and for the season, and they generally don't mean a lot because they're often changing.